What is up, everybody? It's Moritz here from Sectional Store once again. And today we're going to be having a look at this hero section right here. It's a automatic slideshow. And a nice thing you can do with it is that when you switch to mobile, the actual photo is going to change. So you have the slide itself and changing photos in the mobile. And to install it, I just say we jump right into it. First thing you want to be doing is heading on over to the section store which you can find in the Shopify app store, download that, and then just head back to your Shopify admin area where you want to open up the app. You can do that right here in the left bottom corner, and then it's gonna direct you to this little landing area right here. Click on sections. Then you wanna be looking for the hero section I just spoke about. You can either find it here in the search bar or just here under new sections. Click on it and then the pricing model we're offering in section store is a one-time charge for this one we charge nine dollars but there are no hidden subscription fees or anything so that means if you bought it once you're going to own it forever after you successfully finish the purchase just head back to the home area add the new section to your dawn light theme and after that is done successfully you can just head on over to the online store hit customize open up your editor which i have done here already so we're gonna add the section up in the bottom here. So just click on add section, type in SS hero. And then of course, we don't want it at the bottom of the store. We want it all the way at the top. Just simply gonna drag it up here. Theme I'm using is like I said, the dawn light theme. Um, first thing I wanna be doing is adding my first slide. So you can select a desktop image here and the mobile image down here. So I'll just say we pick one. So we want that for the desktop and this image right here, we want for mobile. So yeah, let's do that. And you can see if I look at the mobile version, it's gonna convert to that picture. So yeah, let's head back to the desktop one. And one thing I wanna be doing is adding another slide which I can easily do right here. You can add as many as you want, as you can see, but I'm happy with two at the moment. So we pick another one, select another image. Let's do this one. And let's do this one for the mobile version. So we have that arranged as well. And now I'm gonna show you some customizations. You can do the whole block itself. So you just click on hero. Here we can decide where the whole text is. So we can center it and center it again. So it's right in the middle where I want it to be, actually. We can switch the interval. So that's milliseconds. So we're just going to put it to 3,000. So it's going to switch a little bit faster. So find your button close. You can change the font size as well of the header to make it a bit more subtle and smaller. The color is changeable. Here the subtitle as well. Materials, shipping, and of course, customers happy. Um, you can change the font size as well of the subheading to make it a bit. Oh, it was actually a good size, I think. Um, yeah, here you can see we have two buttons, so those texts are changeable as well. We can put one to shop all and one to shirts. What we did do in the in the one I showed you earlier is shop man and shop women. And then you can simply just pick the collection of your store. It's up to you at the end what you're gonna put in there. But yeah, you can either decide between products, collections, pages, whatever you prefer. The button width is changeable as well. You can make it a bit wider. Let's change the button color maybe, which will change the, the font here. But let's maybe go with a subtle blue because we have a lot of blue in our picture right here. Maybe make it a bit darker. I'm going to be happy with it. Sweet. That looks good. And a bunch of other things we can change on the button as well. Like the background color hover. So if we hover over it, let's actually make it that blue as well. And here we go. I think that looks pretty nice already. Uh, the border thickness is changeable but we don't really have a border right now, but we do can change the radius of it. Let's put it to 10. I think that looks pretty sleek. 
And yeah, like I said, um, the height of the whole thing is changeable as well. So if you put it to 480, it's going to go a bit smaller. I think 800 is a pretty good value. Um, and the mobile height is changeable as well. But I'm just going to keep it like that. And the last thing we can change is padding and, of course, the width of the whole section. But I think we're pretty good to go. Let's just save it up, have a look at it in the live version, and we can wrap it up after that. So, yeah, open it up real quick. Let's let it load. Sweet. There we have our section, a three-second value between the images switching, and we can easily click on that. And it's going to link us to our collection. And in the end, yeah, you can just decide what you want to use it for. But I think it's a pretty useful section. And if you guys found that useful and liked what we did, it always helps us, of course, if you leave a like or a follow. And if there are any questions, just feel free to reach out to us in the comment section or per mail. And with that being said, I hope you're going to have a good day, guys, and peace out.